waiting for you, Michael. Heads up to speed. Michael, I think the last time we talked was here in Dallas. It was. China and, Syndrome. Yes. And uh, I wondered what you were doing, and now I know what you've been <laughs> doing. <laughs> Sloshing around in the jungles of Mexico is what you've been doing. Just five years, Bobby. That's all. It's hard to realize that. It really is. That is amazing. I have to tell you, first of all, Michael, how much I enjoyed the picture. I ah, really did. Oh, good. All right, I that's... really did. Well, I know it's going to be a good interview. <laughs> I laughed and, uh, and just had a wonderful time with it. But as you must be well aware, and as I am going to say um, right out front, is of course it's going to be compared with Raiders of the Lost Ark. Right, right. But uh, in your case, I don't think you need to fear it because it's going to be compared favorably. I That's, think. <clears throat> that seems to be what's happened. Uh, what it was a project which I started actually about five and a half years ago, and um, at, way before Raiders, and then um, it had a lot of difficulties getting going because people didn't think that a picture like *Romancing the Stone*, you could put action against comedy and against romance back to back like that and, and pull it off. And so it's taken a while uh, and I, I think we've succeeded. And there have been some comparisons, but as you say, most of the comparisons have been very favorable. So I think we're in good shape. Did the success of Raiders help you launch this? Um, I'm sure it must have had. It was, there was no direct uh, correlation that I was aware of, but that was sort of a breakthrough picture in that adventure genre. And I sort of felt after having made sort of socially relevant films like The China Syndrome and before that One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest, I was looking for a romp. Uh, and I thought it would be fun, just like actors like to play different parts, to do a different type of production than what I'd done before. So I think that the success of Raiders certainly helped Romancing the Stone a lot. There, is, uh, there are just some wonderful <clears throat> action sequences. And the one that blew my mind completely is the vehicle that goes over the, the waterfall. waterfalls. Yeah. Now, did you, did you really do that? Those were real, real stunt people that went over that waterfall, yeah. It's a really old-fashioned picture in that way. And, I mean, a few of the differences from Raiders is there are no like special effects. It's like the old westerns used to be with these, uh, you know, it was a stunt man's dream with all the different stunts, the waterfall and going down the slides and the swings and a lot of the, uh, of the car stuff. Uh, and we did it, at, it was actually in Durango, Mexico. And the stuntman there had made a lot of westerns. And he had said, you know, I've always wanted to take a horse over that waterfall. And he says, now i got a chance to do it with a car. So that was it. But as the producer, Michael, weren't you really terrified when they did that? Well, I figure they got to know what they're doing. Um, they're they're uh, professionals. There were a lot of other things that I was uh, terrified. Mostly I was just terrified that we wouldn't be able to finish the production. It was, uh, it was very rough down there in terms of you know rainstorms and a lot of logistical problems and the the beauty of it Bobby is, is trying to make a picture and I think you've succeeded look effortless uh, as difficult as it is going from one location uh, to another uh, and and we've, we had our close calls and our accidents but in the end you just try to make it look like it just sails what sort of mishaps did you have uh, mud, mostly. Uh, i never seen it rain, except maybe in Dallas, as, uh, as hard as it was uh, down there. We came in in that tornado uh, uh, storm the other night, uh, but it was, it, it, we hit the major rain uh, season, so you'd find a location one day, and then you'd go to the next, and the mudslides would come down, taking your road away, so you had to carve off uh, a new road, or you'd get stuck down there. You'd have to have big tractors to pull the semi-trailers uh, out. So it was a lot of a lot of logistical uh, work. We got a lot of cooperation in Mexico and the spirits of everybody uh, were good. But I think it'll be a while before I do another one of these adventure pictures. Michael, I've never seen you do that kind of role before. Is this a breakthrough for you? Well, I, I, I guess so. I mean, my friends have been saying it's about time you play something a little closer to yourself. Uh, they said you've been fooling with all these morally uh, justifiable characters and judges and all that and it's time that you did something that was a little more fun. Um, they've always felt that was um, much closer to uh, this, who I am. So yeah, I've been getting a nice favorable response uh, you know, from it and I'm hoping it's certainly a lot more fun to do this than, uh, than the more serious parts. And I'm looking forward to it. We had a, you know, just a really nice ensemble 
experience there. I think Kathleen Turner was great, and obviously you met with Danny, and and he's a lot of fun. So it's, I'm going to savor it. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, the Oscars, of course, are just around the corner now, and I have to pick your brain a little bit as a former Oscar winner yourself and Oscar nominee. Uh, what do you see for Best Picture? Well, I gather it looks like there's going to be sort of a, a terms of endearment sweep, I have a feeling. I think it's captured uh, a lot of people. It reminds a little bit of the success we did have with Cuckoo's Nest that year, where that kind of momentum just built and built. So I would imagine the terms will get Best Picture. And uh, McLean, actress? Um, I don't know. I think that's going to be interesting. And maybe, I, I would imagine so. Uh, the Academy members generally are, are relatively older. A lot of the newer people in the industry have not become cat an Academy member. So I think Shirley has a chance. Uh, Jim Brooks, I think obviously Jack Nicholson will, be, uh, will win as a um, supporting actor. Supporting actress, I don't know. It's, uh, it's pretty wide open. Who do you think <clears throat> might have an edge? Anybody there? Um, I don't know. I, mean, I like Cher a lot. Uh, there's another picture was made here in, in Texas. Um, I, I like Cher a lot, but it's hard to say. I'm not trying to remember who all the candidates Glenn are. Glenn Close, yes. Linda, Linda Hunt. Right. I would think, I would think maybe Cher's got a chance, or Linda Hunt. And if uh, Shirley MacLaine doesn't get it, who would beat her out? Well, it's hard to say. I, I, would, I, I would say MacLaine's the uh, odds-on favorite, probably. Yeah, yeah. And, um, uh, you'll be there? Do you go? I may be there. I may be back actually in New York. Uh, uh, Romancing's opening on March 30th. I'm going to do a little work in New York and then I'm taking a long deserved vacation. Going to the Caribbean with my family for uh, a couple of weeks. So I may be watching the Academy Awards from, uh, from Jamaica. How long a shoot was this picture? Well, I was in Mexico for, for six months, uh, basically, um, in terms of looking for locations and all around. Uh, the actual shooting time was about three months, three and a half months. We shot it mostly in the state of Veracruz, over on the Gulf side, and then some in Mexico City, and a little bit in New York, and then that whole fantasy uh, beginning was um, up in up in Utah. So we we covered a lot of locations, and I, I think I have a really sort of fun, old-fashioned, larger-than-life look. And the budget was how much? It was under ten. Uh, really? Which is it was it's it was cheaper than the average movie. You can believe it because everybody thinks it must have been a you know mo, you know oh, yeah. big enormous extravaganza production, but I was really proud of that, and we were able to give it a great look and uh, for the right price. That's great. You're going to be around a long time producing and making films. I, <coughs> I hope so, Bobby. I'm having fun. <laughs> I like what I'm doing. Well, again, I have to tell you, I love the picture. It's Thank you. great fun, and I just hope that uh, it does really well for you. I don't think you've got too much yeah, to worry about. It's looking good. See you again in Dallas. I maybe. hope so, Bobby. Okay, Pleasure. thank you. Good interview, Michael. Wonderful. Yeah. Good. That was great. It does. It looks like a 20 million. I know. People think it's 18, 20. Okay. And sound. Michael, surely you're aware that this will be compared with Raiders of the Lost Ark. How do you feel about that? There were just fantastic hardships during this film, weren't there? Um, this is your first comedy film as far as I know, isn't it? What kinds of mishaps did you have? One scene you have a vehicle going over a waterfall. Now, did you really do it that way? The scene where the car goes over the waterfall and the people too, is that for real? As the producer, weren't you terrified? What about this year's Oscar race? Who do you see as the winners? If Shirley MacLaine has some competition, who do you think it is? 
Well, there's Cher, Glenn Close, Linda Hunt. And now just reactions. <laughs> that should do it. Thank you.